Well, here we are, folks, the very last member of the Computron team. So, of course, it's their big boy and the leader. This is Scattershot. Now, we technically already got Scattershot in the uh, basic Combiner Wars toy line, but it was it literally was just a straight repaint of, uh, of Silverbolt with just a new head. And this one is a straight repaint of that straight repaint. Only now he doesn't have the whole Black, black Superior head. Still, as you can see, um, quite, quite a bit of re remolding went, went into this figure. Um, keep in mind, I don't have Silver Bolt, so... Eh, oh well. So, as you, and as you can see, he is a giant plane with his entire robot... Well, literally his entire robot just underneath, underneath here. But what makes up for it is that he has this freaking huge cannon on the front, which I believe is supposed to be a callback to his, uh, to his, uh, third G1 mode, where, where he could become, like, an anti-aircraft cannon or something like that. I don't know. Uh, still, still, this is definitely for very much a, te a technobot, right down to the color scheme of kind of, of, the kind of red, uh, what looks like a very brownish shade of maroon, and of course, plenty of white. And you also got little tiny Autobot symbols on either side of the fuselage. And, you know, the design itself, um, is very, it's definitely very much an a kind of like an alien design, which, you know, given that there's literally a plane with a huge cannon on the front, yeah, it needs to be a bit alien. And you can fold down this little ski pad as part of the landing gear, and he also has a couple wheels back here. But not like you're really going to be using it much when you have a Miss Computron, are you? But he also does come with this big old rifle, which is exactly the same as it was with Silver Bolt and Cyclonus. So, you can just plug it underneath here. If I can get the tabs fully lined up, excuse me. There we go. And this also has like, uh, sorry, has like a little landing gear right there. And isn't that patently ridiculous, but, you know, since he already has a cannon in the front, why not just plop on that extra cannon? And yeah, if you want, you can just do like a, kind of like a fan mode for the cannon. Uh, this is the one I, I saw online. It's frankly the best looking one. Yeah, yeah, love those ratchets. And yeah, you, you can get something of a cannon mode in here. It looks dumb, but so did the original cannon mode. So, eh, what you gotta do? But still, so it says we're here, Miles will get to transformation, and we're gonna go to robot mode first, and then we'll get into combined mode. So, pull off the gun. So, as you saw, you, uh, you fold the cockpit back, and float, fold up the wings, and of course, you untap and strain out the arms. Hang on a second. But, but, and of course, and of course, because I just plopped it down, the, uh, the tail fin right here. It, it goes on the side. Doesn't matter what side it goes on. It doesn't make it much. Doesn't make any difference. So from there, if I just move the arms out of the way, you fold the legs down, rotate them forward, and then you push out the feet, and fold out the heels, and close. Uh, excuse me. Close this panel over the back to not really cover up the hole at all. Do the same on both sides. Come on, you bastard. There we go. And then you, let me straighten those arms out. You open up the chest plate and fold out the head. And thus, we have Scattershot in his robot mode. And yeah, it is basically just the superior robot mode with a new noodle. But, I mean, I mean Silver Bowl body, not Superior body. What am I saying? But so. For his work, this is the, this definitely works. Kind of gives it like a bit of an authorial, kind of like it gives it a regal presence almost, even if it does have literally his entire plane resting on the back. But again, what you got to do? Necessity of the silver bolt design. Uh, that little noodle is uh pretty pretty decent. I like I like the little blue visor, and it definitely works a hell of a lot better than just the white head with his entire face and visor being like this little uh this I thought, I think it's powder blue, pale blue. I don't know. Still, this is this is definitely a very nice looking robot. Very stocky, very blocky. Kind of like the look of it. And these these kind of remind me of um, uh, was it Galaxy Force Starscream? Um, 
I, I guess to an extent, Cybertron Starship, maybe even though the only Cybertron Starship people really got was, was like the big Supreme Class one. And I'm not going to get that because, frankly, I prefer figures to be the, the original size. Anyways, you got uh, a ball joint here, though it is very limited due to, you know, due to the shape of the head and these two bits just, uh, just blocking it off. And then, listen to this. Love those ratchets. And you got, you got plenty of ratchets to go around. And then you got a bicep swivel, a hinged elbow. You can, I guess, do this with the hands. I don't know. Oh, love that ratcheting. I don't know whether to call it that fantacheting or ratcheting. You know, fantastic ratcheting, righteous ratcheting. It's still, it's brilliant. Uh, five swivel and uh, double jointed uh, better than these. So, plenty of range. Oh, and the, um, and the foot can move. So, plenty of range for this guy. And you notice he's got these ports on his arms. So he can so he can go all Megatron on us and have an arm cannon. But, you know, that looks patently ridiculous. And even if you pull off this bit, which acts, I guess, as a buckler or a shield, it still looks pretty silly. Because you've got this giant piece of plastic just sticking out of his arms. So I guess you could kind of give him like a handheld, uh, I guess a sniper rifle of sorts. But, you know, still it's pretty silly. It's, it's too big for to be used for the robot mode. So, what do you say we get him into... Hang on. Come on. Come on. There we go. What do you say we get him into combined mode? So, fold the head back. And then... Fold the arms up, like so, and flip the hands back, which will reveal the uh, combiner bits. And, th and then, this is actually a really clever transformation. You actually flip them upside down so that these are the hips. That's actually kind of cool. And then, let me just open up these pals back here. Fold away the feet, like so. Rotate them outwards and fold them down and try to get them turned into the right place. There we go. And then you fold these bits down for more combiner bits. Then you <clears throat> pull out what was his uh, his midriff. A very nicely detailed midriff. It's the gayest thing ever. Uh, then you fold, fold that bit up. Fold this up. Fold up the antenna ears. And then just plug that in. And close up the torso by folding these bits. Oh! You need to flip up the Autobot badge so it fills in that gap. And thus, there we have the torso for Superion. I mean, Computron. But yeah, this is literally just the Superion torso, which, if I'm right, the uh, the uh, Unite Warriors version did something different, like even with the head being different. But yeah, this is basically the Superion body. Still. Now that we finally got everyone into the limb modes, let's do this. Oh, one thing I do like to do is that I like to take um, Afterburner's guns and plug them onto his legs because they're the only other place they can go. Now, excuse me a second while I'll put the uh, put things rifle back together. So, let's start from the legs up. We've got light speed. Plug them in there. Nose cone. Plug them in there. Afterburner. Plug them in there. And, fi and finally, um, strafe and scrounge. Plug them in there. And ladies and gents, behold, Computron, and isn't he a big one? I mean, wow, this is actually, this is actually pretty cool. Like. I mean, I super don't really care for Computron as a character. He's probably the most boring combiner ever. But, wow, look at him. This is, this is really cool. And a lot of it is, is really helped by the, um, by the new hands and feet. He's a big bugger, isn't he? Like, um, if I just, give me a second. If I just bring over my uh, Unite Warriors Bruticus, which isn't really any bigger than the normal Combiner Wars Bruticus, but it's 
the uh, better looking one. As you can see, Copitron actually towers over Bruticus. Look at that! He is, he's, he's huge! He's massive! That's what she said. <laughs> oh god, that was tasteless and that was awful. I am so sorry. Uh, Bruticus, we'll just put you on the bed. There we go. Like I, like I said, I love the look of this. Look at this guy. Articulation, uh, you got head can move side to side, can't really do any more than that. And then, of course, Ratchet! Okay, that one's a bit weak. Let's just do this one. Oh, that is better. Love the Ratchets on this guy. And I'm glad that a majority of the joints are Ratcheted, because that way it makes him more stable. You know, none of the, none of that like power core combiner stuff where you have to rely on friction to do it. This is pure grade co combiner ratchet joints. It feels big and hefty, and he's, and and he definitely won't feel like he definitely doesn't feel like he's coming apart. And of course, he can hold the rifle in his hand, uh, like so. And yeah, this is just this is just. Okay, I do wish that there was a bit more variety in like the color, like the color placement, the, the color placement on the torso. But thankfully, that's what rep labels are for, and I'm probably gonna get those after um, after this review. Yes, I actually like this so much. I'm going to get the rep labels for it. That's my first ever rep label set. So, Computron, he's a he's a nice one, isn't he? I don't know how he really compares to Unite Warriors version because I don't have him, and I haven't really seen any videos of him. But, yeah, I really do recommend this guy, recommend this set. Give it a go. It's worth your time. And I hope these videos were worth your time. So, let me just put Computron down. Thank you for watching. And hopefully people will actually watch these videos as opposed to my Combaticon videos. Later.